honor their lives and mourn their loss. We also understand how important it is to help those who are injured by this tornado. Over about 100 people right now, it appears. We got to make sure we help each and every one of those uh, men and women recover. And that's what we're here to do, to recover. Uh, the people of Southern Illinois and the people of Illinois come together in times of crisis where there is a natural disaster. We never know when it will come. We have to have our agencies ready for emergency. And our Illinois Emergency Management Agency is on the scene with our state police, with our Department of Natural Resources and their Conservation Police. And I got a re just received a phone call about five minutes ago from the White House. President Obama, when he woke up this morning, learned of this uh, natural disaster and how dangerous and damaging it was. He wanted to make sure that in his home state of Illinois that we work together with the federal government, with all those local responders who are here. So inspiring to see how many people come forward in times of crisis to help their neighbor. And we want to work together to help everyone who has lost property. I just toured the area and I saw how devastating the damage is the overturned semis and cars and uh, apartment buildings shredded to bits. Uh, it's very, very important that we understand that anytime this bad thing happens from nature, that we don't give up, that we help those who have been devastated by this uh, natural disaster, that we come together and we rebuild. And so today, I'm ready to sign our state disaster declaration. We need to paper here and I'll sign it right now on behalf of the people of Illinois governors invested with the power to sign a declaration and I will do so at this moment this is our gubernatorial proclamation of a state disaster area it allows us to work with our local officials and summon all of our state resources to make sure that we have everything that we need to help everyone get back on their feet I want to thank our Lieutenant Governor Sheila Simon, who is from here in Southern Illinois. She's with us today, and she'll be with us as we proceed with the recovery effort. And I work, have worked closely all my life, political life, with uh, State Senator Gary Corby, as well as Representative Brandon Phelps. And I came down with Representative John Bradley. We want to work with the people of Southern Illinois, uh, not only here in Harrisburg and Saline County, but for those who are affected in Ridgeway and Gallatin County and in rural Williamson County. We've got to make sure that we band together as a family. That's what Illinois is at its very, very best. When something bad happens to anyone in Illinois, among our 13 million people, it means that all of us have to come together and help our neighbor. That's what the Bible tells us, and that's what we know is the right thing to do. I think it's very, very important that all of us at this time of tragedy say a prayer for those who have lost lives, who have lost property. We understand that God listens to our prayers, but he also understands that we have to work together as a team to make sure that we do recover and get back on our feet right here in the land of Lincoln. I'd like to ask our Lieutenant Governor, Sheila Simon, to come forward and say a few words. Sheila, take it from there. Thanks. For those of you who aren't from Southern Illinois, as I am, we're a little bit different territory. Uh, there are not so many of us per square mile, but we are closer, maybe because of that. Uh, and at this point is when we take stock of how we know the folks who are involved. What's our connection? Whose friend works with whose cousin who was injured last night or lost a home or lost a loved one? Uh, we are ready to come together in that same way to help rebuild and repair. And uh, I'm asking folks to keep a particular close eye on the the needs that are after the immediate cleanup, what we'll need to do to help our neighbors to restore their lives and make them whole again. And I look forward to working with all of you in doing that. Thank you. Thank you, Sheila. Uh, I want to also bring forward our state senator from this district, someone who understands firsthand how important it is for people to work together. Uh, we've been through some tough times in Southern Illinois over the last several years. There was an ice storm in 2009, a horizontal hurricane. Last year, the floods. This year, today, this terrible tornado. But we have strong people, and the people of Southern Illinois, the people of Illinois, will recover. And Gary Forby, come on forward and see if we can see where Thank you, Governor. We appreciate you being here today. We appreciate everybody being here. What happened last night was just, just 
I don't know how you tell me that we lost some lives, we lost some homes, we lost some cars. But you know what? This is the best place in the United States for people come together. Nobody comes together like we do. We've proved it several different years. We're here today telling you we're going to come together. We're going to hold hands. We're going to do whatever it takes. We're going to bring our families out of it. Work it out. As the legislator, Brandon, John, and I, no matter what happens, with everybody else, we're going to make this thing happen, and we are going to come out of this. I know it's hard to say, let's smile and come out of it, but you know what? We are going to make things happen. We are going to work as a family. We are going to make things happen. It's something hard to talk about. But you know what? We're a beautiful day, and you're driving around. Everybody's working. The car company, the police department, the sheriff department, IEMA. I can't name them. IDNR. Everybody. Here, here. Just turn around. No matter where you're at, there's somebody here. You're almost running over everybody to help us. So I just want to thank everybody for coming out today and appreciate that. Just keep everybody, just keep them. Everybody in your prayers. And when we do that, that makes everything happen. Thank you very much. Uh, well said. Thank you, Gary. Uh, we also want to bring forward someone who knows firsthand what happened here this morning. We're a very special person who lost her life. So I want to ask uh, Representative Brandon Phelps to come forward and speak. Okay. Uh, thanks for all for coming. I wish we were meeting on better terms, but uh, this is home for me. And I saw firsthand today uh, the, tra the tragedy that this caused with a friend of mine that passed away today. He used to work for me. So we keep uh, everybody that was uh, hurt in this, was killed in this tragedy, keep them in your prayers. That's all I ask. I want to thank the governor and lieutenant governor for the quick resources. I was on the phone this morning early when I left Springfield to be with everybody, and I tell you, things were already happening. I want to thank Amron. we got over 300 people on the ground right now. We know tires going to take a while to get up and running, so we want to thank Amron for what they've done, and I'm telling you, they've still got more crews coming. More than anything, this just shows again how much of a togetherness there is in Southern Illinois. I cannot begin to tell you the amount of phone calls that I got this morning of different mayors and different people in other counties wanting to send more staff, more law enforcement help, anything that we needed to make sure that we were taken care of. And it's not only about Harrisburg, it's also Down County and Ridgeway. So if you more than anything, the only thing I can say tonight, today is just keep all these people in your prayers. And uh, I just appreciate again being here. Thank you. Thank you, Brandon. We also want to hear from uh, Representative John Bradley. I just flew down with John and he represents uh, Southern Illinois with great distinction, John. I am uh, rep about two blocks from here, and uh, I'm proud to stand with Governor Quinn and Brandon and Gary and all the people of Southern Illinois. And I just want to offer a simple prayer for the lives that were lost, for their families, and friends as they suffer through this, and for all the people of Southern Illinois, not only in Harrisburg, but in Ridgeway and Southern Williamson County. We've taken a lot of hits lately. But those of us in Southern Illinois, we managed to get through these things and we'll get through this, but it's going to be tough for a while. And so I just like to say, whenever these things happen, I'm so proud to be part of this community. I'm proud to live in Marion. I'm proud to be born and raised in Harrisburg. I'm proud of the way we band together and pull together and work together. And for God's speed, That's the damage. Uh, we understand how important it is to those who have seen their shopping center wiped out, their apartment building devastated, that we do assess all the damage. And uh, it's going to be an important exercise that we all engage in as a family to make sure that those who have been hurt by this tornado uh, get the resources they need to recover and rebuild. I'm going to ask John Munkin, who is a United States veteran of the United States Army, he served in Iraq tank missions, now one person lost, no, no equipment lost, he's now the director of our emergency management agency, he's been through this a number of occasions, I want to 
want to make sure that John has a chance to speak and tell everybody what we need to do to come together and make sure we do everything possible to help those who have been harmed. Good afternoon, everyone. This is certainly a difficult day for Southern Illinois, uh, but no one in Southern Illinois is a stranger to disasters that affect the state. This is something that they've had to deal with several times on the last couple of years.